Right then, so here's the team for the start of this episode and the first game of the episode. It's going to be the same team as normal, pretty much. I think Campanini's in for Bello at this game. But there's going to be minimal squad changes as this team seems to be working at the minute. Also, our youth prospect is a monster. I'll show you him after this game. But for now, let's jump into it and get these points. Uh, Flora's not got much on. He sees Hanin. Now, if Hazard can, you know, do something. Name is in. Into Caddy. Warren Caddy. Oh, that's a terrible finish. <laughs> he'd have thought the four he's in, he'd have buried that. That's dreadful. Well done. Hazard. Into Caddy. Ah. One is not out of position. Oof, what a shot that was. Unlucky. Right, name is should get to this. He does. He's found Warren Caddy, who's not gonna miss this time. No, he is not. His shot power must be ridiculous. In fact, I'm gonna check the shot power if you are live. Right now, let's have a look. Uh, 70, 75 shot power right now. That's, why is he hitting them so hard? That's mad. <laughs> but the guy's on mad form. He could have had two goals already. Name with the assist. Brilliant play there from him. He's been a very good player. He's improved a lot. I do think we might be able to upgrade him in the summer, but he's not the main issue with the team I got. He's just stretched his leg out there and he's absolutely launched it. Keep us no chance. Let's go. Cup final, guys. Every game's a cup final. Go keep iterating this and hopefully it pays off in the long run. Good tackle again. That should go out, yeah. Not good. This is really not good. Red flags. Oh, I'm such an idiot, man. I don't get how he wasn't offside from that deflection. I gotta stop playing out the back. I don't have players that can play out from the back. Now let's break. I'm sorry. What is he doing? What an absolute joke. I told him to pass it and he just stood there for a second and then just got tackled. Well done, no, we're not going to be able to break it, we? No. But if I was the other team, they'd be able to run across the line and have a shot at goal. But because it's me, it doesn't work. When we're at the break, my own mistake, I can't really complain. Since that goal, we've not really created much. Caddy should have had to, uh, another goal. But you got to kick on in the second half, otherwise I think we're out of the title race completely. Even promotion at that point. Good tackle. There we go. We have a little page through here. Come on. Get in the box. I don't care for sweating it. No, you can't even get there anyway. For God's sake. God's sake, man! I fully bottled the league this year, guys. I don't get where the rest of my whole team is to, you know, mark the guys wide open in the box. The keepers... If he dies, he saves it. I... So undeserved for them, man. Oh, 
please help me to die. Get to that. Oh then. See what I mean? Everyone's just running straight in a line. No one thinks, oh, I'll drop so I can get the ball. Winding me up. That's a dreadful pass. Right, we're through here. Do not mess it up. Oh my god! <laughs> He's gotta be scoring that. He's hit it straight at the goalkeeper, what a joke. Oh fuck Christ's sake man. Good save, the passing is shite. Utter shite in this game. Oh, there's a goal. <laughs> Who's marking him? Oh, God. Who is marking him? Because no one was. I'm so angry. Some names on him. That's four times in five games names just let his, mar his player just run off him. I have to put him on a man mark or something because it's a joke. Honest joke. Complete and utter joke, man. How many times do you want to leave your man to let him score? What is that pass? Look at my midfielders, they're both stood miles up the pitch. Oh, come on, Caddy, you've got to be predicting us. Go in there. Right, go. Go on, Caddy. Oh my god! It's just one of these games. It's just not gonna let me do anything I actually attempt to do. Oh, there's another goal. Yep, goalkeeper's utter shite. <laughs> oh, no one picks up any runners. Do you know what the mad thing is? Was even jockeying with Barbe then, so don't know why he was doing that. Just blow the whistle. Take game. Oh, this game's so bad. We were watching the lap as well. It's like as soon as we scored that goal, the game just went, Do you know what? You're not having that. Joke. That's a joke. I gotta change formation. There's two open the def the defensive midfielders, yes, the defensive midfielders don't do anything. Don't pick up anyone that's running through. Right then, is a crucial game here against Grenoble Foot. Uh a few changes. Obviously, Gakpa's come in for Name because Name's been dreadful at defending. Uh, Urega and Bellard also come in for Lopez and Campanini. We really need a win here, so I think you can hear my voice. I'm annoyed, but hopefully we can do something. You can see Guan has gone down in his actual rating, which is great. But come on, let's get a win. Good tackle, the Tokyo or Gak, whoever that was. 
I've always got some space to go into here. Caddy. Ura, finish that. Oh, what has gone on with him? He's turned to poo since I put Caddy into the team. There we go. No. Oh, they have seven people on the ball. Jesus Christ, Doggy was made a save. I've not seen that for a few games. Why is it also switching me? It's turned off. Warren Caddy, Urega. Yes. I mean, that's bull. It was a minute after the added time, but I don't even care. It's happened to me so many times. But I'll take it. Hazard did most of the work there. Finds a uh, caddy. Vera finally jumps up the way, or thankfully even. And Urega, probably, what's that, fourth goal of the season? Jesus, he scored two goals this season. What a block, Barbie, come on. And again. Oh, he's offside there, surely. Oh, as if, game! Give me some fucking luck! <laughs> what is the goalkeeper doing here, though? Christ, how much more have I got to defend to keep a clean sheet? I really need a goalkeeper in the summer. So if any of you got this far, why should we get angry? Then suggest some goalkeepers because I am saying all three of them. Oh, there's a goal. Like, how is he heading it with that much power from there, man? Yeah, told you, goal was coming! Guano, win a fucking header, will you? Jesus Christ! That's your man! Two of you out jumped by him! What a joke of a game! She came off his fucking foot! Nice to see my midfielders uh, defended. For some reason, my team plays such a high line, yet it's unbalanced. Keep her. Uh I have no words. No words. <laughs> what is the goalkeeper doing, man? He just didn't even fucking try. Yeah, you've fucked it. You're getting sold, mate. He's like, oh, I'll go for ah, no, nah, don't worry. Oh, I'll just get him running and score. That is an utter joke. Complete and utter bullshit joke. You watch, I'll probably score now. I won't because I have no one running in the box. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my team. They've turned to complete shit in the second half of the season. Utter joke. The fact that we lost that three ones a fucking joke. Right then, so the end of this video is going to be all post-con simply because I was losing my mind playing uh, these games, especially after I realised that we pretty much weren't going to get promoted, especially when we're conceding goals like that. 
Mish are now doing wonders in the sticks. But it is what it is. I just don't want to hear you scream. Hit what? Do want you to hear me screaming so much? I'm angry now, looking back at it and editing this video. Just some of the goals I was conceding was a joke. You see here, defending. I pretty much shut him down. He somehow gets that ball across, hits it perfectly on the volley. Goalkeeper should save it, and it's just frustrating that he doesn't. Oh, I'm getting angry now just looking at all this. But yeah, uh, it's gonna be an end of season. Simply because I kind of lost my mind. And I was wanting to play the games to try and like, get happy. But if you can see here, look at my two midfielders. Why are they sat so far back? And it's the guy that Patokyo leaves. He plays the ball through and he scores another belter. Which is all I seem to be conceding at the minute. It's just belters. This is a bit strange, but that was the end of the game. Uh, we lost 3-0. Uh, playing the half next, you can see our team there. Mainly the normal team you know. Uh, Ura is through on goal quickly here, as you can see. And, well, it's a perfect start as uh, Julian Lopez scores a goal. And then in the 14th minute, I was like, oh yes, we're going to smash these guys. Uh, Ura, nice little assist over to Kylian Hazard, who scores yet another goal for us. He's become so important recently. Um... Obviously, he's playing like a 75 at the minute. Hopefully, he can grow naturally to a 75 and then develop from there with his boost and stuff. But then, unfortunately, in the 33rd to 35th minute, some quality defending from me just gets turned. And they score. Oh, guess what? It's a belter. Um, I don't know if League Deer players should be scoring every time they run through on goal with belters. Doesn't seem that realistic. That's like it'd be a League Earn. But anyway, we move. Uh, in the kind of 75th minute now, you all know what's going to happen. We don't. Hadin does everything right there. I tell him to, I tack, I tell him to tackle. He just doesn't put his leg out. The guy hits it on another volley, and it's a goal. I was at this point, I was furious. I think mean, I was raging. Keeper should save it, man. It's not hard. His position's just all off. And then that was the game. Drew two all to the heart. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. And then for the next game, you see me, we got uh, Gingam, who are top of the league. A few changes, as you saw. And, well, you never guess what happened. We actually scored a goal. It was a fantastic goal, if you ask me. Lura, with some brilliant finishing. He hasn't been the same since I put him and Caddy up top. Which was only lasted a few games, because I felt like our midfield was too, well, too vulnerable. So I, I dropped Caddy again. And Hazard with a nice assist. It's a great finish from Lura. Very good uh, poachers finish. If you see here, running onto it, just places it bottom corner, keeper no chance. 1 0 Paris. And I was like, oh yes, this is great. But unfortunately, <laughs> as top of the league does, Gomis, I don't know how he keeps the ball, and then has a shot which rebounds, obviously, goes straight to another player. And. Uh, I guess the keeper was unsighted and it's just frustrating and asked the goal. Why can't my players finish how they these guys are finishing like every shot at the minute? It's quite frustrating. But obviously the second top scorer in the league, Gomis, behind the Laura, scores, makes it one all. And I'll either take a draw, if I'm honest. And then in the 77, not long after, my mid look how high up my midfield is, even though they're defensive midfielders. It's at one jump out of this game, they're on stay back while attacking. And they just don't. EA needs to sort it out, man, as they're going to lose so many people over the year. If only Pez could make a proper competitive game, I'd be straight on it, because the game's actually fun. It's just not that good. Uh, and then we have uh, Nancy, which should be a game we win. Just doing my little few squad changes. A few players, I believe, have switched out here. I've decided whether to make some or not, as you can see. End of doing some instruction at work because Laura just wasn't doing a lot in the last game. I know he scored, but that was about it. So I thought, you know what, a few changes, let's jump into the Nancy game. And straight away, I thought, you know what, it's working because, uh, well, I think you can guess from the highlight. Kian has had an assist through to Laura. <laughs> On the rebound, he gets it. Finally, we get a rebound goal. Seems like forever since that Toulouse game, since we got one. It just seems to be happening against us. 
It's like that Toulouse game cursed our season, man. And then, unfortunately, ball over the top. Even though my defence is on uh, normal, non-pressing. It was so high. Tall Barbe to get in the way, clear it. Stands there and watches it. Gokio doesn't cover himself in glory either. And it makes it 1-1. But you can hear from my voice how annoyed I am. Clear the ball. And Guano is injured for the rest of the season. So. Oh. Swings around about say. Uh, it just. It was just one of those recorded sessions. But I just wanted to throw the controller through the telly. And unfortunately we lost our star centre back. To injury. So that means Axel Bamba has to come in. And he didn't cover himself in glory last time he played. But thankfully we get a draw, <laughs> a draw against Nancy, and that is uh, all I can say on the matter. You can see me there just take it out Guano from the team as we go into our game against Auxerre, which is going to be a tough game. Uh, Campanese on the ball, does well to find some space, finds Arab, and Hatar's running through, and he scored again. The guy was so... Without that guy, we'd have been embarrassed in a lot more games this season. Um, unfortunately, I think you can tell what's going to happen here. As Oxera on a ball. I don't know who this guy is, but yeah. Somehow he does Hazard. And, well, yeah. Guy's open in space. Rebound. I don't know why Hanin did that lunge tackle, because I wasn't even controlling him. So the game auto-switched me last second. I was mid-tackle. To go to Hanin, and he does that. If he doesn't, if the gate doesn't switch me there, which isn't even turned on by the way, it's not a goal. Which is frustrating, but as this is FIFA 21 and kickoff goals are, well, the regular, I just ran straight forward pretty much, and, oh, there's a goal. Sums up FIFA 21 really. At the start of this game cycle, it was probably the best FIFA I've ever played. First up that it came, uh, it was a bit ropey, but it's still good. Next update, next update, ruined. Like, this ruined to the point where I can't even play Ultimate Team anymore because I don't find it enjoyable. I find it depressing. But it's a great finish from Laura there. Makes it 2 1 to us in the 17th minute. And I was like, well, this is ridiculous. What else is going to happen in this game? Hopefully, we can actually keep on with the lead here. Actually, win a game. I haven't won a game in 5 or 6 now. A bit sad because we pretty much blew our promotion with these games but you know it's kick off FIFA 21 so what happens you tell me I think you all know what's going to happen as I'm literally doing everything I can to get the ball and the guy's just holding off a right back who's actually tall and strong but finally Hatai gets the ball and names now sprinting forward finds Julian Lopez in a bit of space he sees Lura through, but it's a great switch over to Kylian Hazard, who's been ridiculously good on that right wing. Finds Arab. He kind of messes up the shot, which turned into a pass. But back up to Hazard, and Hazard scores again. He's so good, man. On that right wing, he's ridiculously good. Uh, obviously, second half now. So we went into the break at 3-1. Unfortunately, well, that's... That's gone in. Explain to me how a league dirt player is doing that. It'll be uh, much appreciated. Drop that down below in the comments why that's happened. Oh, let's just see a replay. <laughs> Look how angry I am in my voice, man. <laughs> As you can see, it's a good tackle. Got the ball. Somehow the ball rolls through my leg. And the guy's, who's also... Oh, that just isn't a goal. That's not a realistic animation. The keeper's on the floor instead of diving, which I got no words for in itself. But all that together just makes it into a car crash. And I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> I'm so annoyed now looking back on it. And you can see I've still not cut the action because guess what? FIFA 21, it's a kickoff goal. But who for, Jeff? Well, 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 well. It's for us. Would you believe it? We score another kickoff goal. Quick one, two around the back. We find Arab, and the guy scores, and that was just pure relief, man. I was like, I'm not actually going to throw away a win. And you can't, I can't describe how happy I was, man. 
But yeah, we got the goal. We got the win. As you'll see now, we have a bit of confirmation. There we go. We have the win. Gil Voggy even made an appearance. And we knew he score. But we don't. But I don't really care. And that was how the season ended, guys. We finished in seventh after being first. We just choked it. Even at, thank God we won our last. I, I asked it. I also simmed the last game of the season, which I forgot to record, and we won three 0 Typical. Because at that point I knew we couldn't get dropped down and we couldn't win, so just uh, simmed it. Finished seventh, as you'll see from the table now. Uh, Toulouse top, Gingamp second by a point. And you can really just see we fit, we completely bottled it. So show dropped down completely. <laughs> 19 draws, man. Jesus. And in terms of the golden boot, as I accidentally go back into the table, in terms of the golden boot, obviously, obviously, Laura won it. 32 goals and 38 games, which is ridiculous. We'll do well to keep him uh, this season. Obviously, has I got 12 goals, as you can see there. Nice return for him on his debut season. Even Lopez, 11 goals, chipped in. With all these goals, man, it's had defence that needs work, clearly. I do think it's the right-back and the goalkeeper that's the problem. Because the uh, centre-backs have to go out to cover the right-back. Because they just don't have enough pace to get back. Even though they don't stay back while attacking, they still run forward. But I've given up with trying to do instructions now. Clearly the game can't be coded properly. Even though, I know it sounds like I have an agenda against the coding, but I don't. It's just the game's not good. It's unfinished, if you ask me, with all the glitches and stuff that's still in the game. They still haven't patched them, man. I might end up switching to PC so I can patch them myself. <laughs> but, you can see we had uh, Florian Martin with top assist of 17. He had a great season for the 30-year-old. He will be replaced eventually by my regen, or my uh, youth academy prospect. But for now, he's done good. All the goalkeepers had rated under 6.7, I think. So, dreadful for more three. Uh, Guano had a good season, upgraded a bit. Injuries obviously hampered him at the end. Bamba, I'm not sure what to do with him. I want to play him, but he's just not that good. Uh, Barbe done okay when he was well when he played. Campani was okay. Same with Bird. Name was good when he came in. Obviously his ratings don't seem to emphasize that. Kamara never played. Kikonda's leaving us obviously. Uriga, I'm not sure what to do with him. wasn't very good this season. Probably gonna sell him. Florian Martin was ridiculous, 18 assists, 6 goals, brilliant man, you can't say much else, Gakpo was good before he got injured, once he came back from injury, was, wasn't the same player man, Patokio was very good, did not know he had 11 assists and 4 goals to him, should have had way more goals but he flopped it every time, and the rest of the team, we kind of know all the stats for everyone else, Hazard was good, Lopez was good, Aurora was good, Caddy was good when called on, but that is the end of the season here guys. I look forward to the season two in League Dirt, unfortunately. I hope to see you there and for you to be along with us for the ride. But I've been uh, Full Time Football. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Peace.